Well, our next skater comes from Canada, 16-year-old Anthony Paradis, second Junior Grand Prix season national, junior bronze medals, but was the Canadian champion in 2022. Won the bronze last year in 2023 in juniors, 58.19 personal best, earning that on the Junior Grand Prix last season in Gdansk. And he'll start the short program to ace in the hole. Well, I think Anthony Paradis from Canada is one of the most fascinating and creative skaters on the scene. And, oh, I can't wait for hopefully a time when he can marry his creative composition with a technical, found, a, you know, clean skate because yeah. there's so yeah, much absolutely. he has to offer. Wonderful work done by Ivan Desjardins and Véalan Imad from Montreal. And this skater, you know, he's kind of an enigma. There is very few skaters in the world that are as unique and different and special and, and sort of transforming as Anthony Powardy, no question. The question will be, what kind of athlete does he want to be remembered at? He is a strong skater, but is he as disciplined in the technical work that he is as we see him on the screen in this wonderfully creative and innovative choreography? So we take a look at the triple lutz. He can do all these a little under rotated hands go down you can see just not the consistency yet and i've watched this young man for the last couple of years we've seen the brilliance of his performance as he singles the axle the lack of concentration perhaps on those few seconds that the technical jumps are executed look at the cantilever coming down the ice and here's the triple toe loop this is pretty good not as high as he normally gets try to push up higher and just doesn't get that free leg back in time. So there's some work to do technically, but if this young man, as you mentioned, puts the sport with the art at an equal level, watch out because he's completely yeah. unique as we see 
interesting and entertaining. Yeah, and the, the camera guys can find so many parts in this program that are worthy of re-watching. And I'd actually read a mm. quote when you said, what he want? I'd read that he wants to be remembered for his artistry and creativity. And I won't forget him. We just we need him to nail the technical stuff to get more people to see it and to be remembered. So hopefully, you know, that'll all level out because even, even down to the costume, even down to the snake charmer type storyline that I feel is in the costume, just even, he did that single axle and then the back three turned into that spread eagle with this crazy, amazing arm movement was phenomenal. But unfortunately, that single axle is so incredibly costly that that back three spread eagle might not be seen by many people. <laughs> Well, look, he's already successful from the perspective of innovation and interest. We all mm -hmm. talk about it. Everybody does. So no problem there. He's already made his mark. That won't change because he's that good. The challenge for him will be it's his decision. He can do what he wants. How does he want to be remembered as the all-around skater, both technically and creative, creatively? Certainly one of the best in the world, without question, creatively, in juniors at least. As we wait for the scores, there's... Yvonne Desjardins and the Kiss and Cry. 56.29, that's third in the short program. Of course, good PC scores and the high sixes, so that really helps him with that score.